Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today I show some bamboo attacks from Della Healer. It's pretty simple entry, and then I show some kind of variation to set up bamboo when the time is a bit difficult to do as like usual. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, I will start with Della Healer like this. Then, like I said in the other video, in order for me to play Della Healer, I like to make the card like this. Yeah, this can be the best grip to control my opponent. So once I do, there's been a lot of things I can make him step back like this, the attack, or when he comes forward, I can kick him over. So many things I can do. But sometimes I cannot keep it. Of course he does get control of cover. Whenever he has chance, he wants to cut it. Like this kind of shaking cut like this. Then he's gonna come like this. Then this is like a bad sign for me to play Dela Hebrew. He can easily take step like over like this. So once it happens, this is longer than a hero. So in this situation, I need to change the level. Like coming up to the sit-up curve, right? I just want to kick his thigh to sit up like this. Then, there's been multiple options from here. If you can grab the powder, you can do the same thing as like last one. Well, today, I showed a way to set up bending ball, like entry with the belt. Especially in this position, once I set up like this, I can find a lot of fists on his right side. So I straight into bending ball, okay? I grab his belt like this. Then what I like to is fall on my shoulder with hanging on his belt. Then I should be able to bring him down to the ground like this. Okay, right after I bring him down, I'm gonna get upside down to get into bearing ball. The first one is very simple way to do the back take, okay? I pull myself, then I keep my shin on his belly, then I get upside down like this. Okay, as soon as I get upside down, I want to make sure that I Trap is riding with my left knee like this, okay? Like biting like this. Then I still keep my shin from his belly. This is how I make the shield between me and him, okay? Then I still keep holding his belly on the near side. Then once I lift it up, his leg like this, I make some space, okay? I chop behind his knee to open it like this. Then once I make, I'm going to grab his hips on this side, okay? This is the grips I have to make for bending ball. Okay, from this position, I'm going to flip his hips. Look, I kick his knee with my left knee joint. Look, plus I pull his hips with my left hand. Like this, I lift up his hips like this. Once I come to the side, look, I push his hips to adjust an angle to switch my legs to make a twist of it like this. Then this situation, his hips are a little higher than I want to do. So that's why I push, I constantly push it down not to allow him to go to the other side. Okay, once I make, I put my left inner thigh on his hips like this. Like I replace my hand to come here. Then I cut his shoulder, drive him towards my side, make sit down, to take the back. Here, I cannot grab the collar. So I don't like to spend time at this position for a long time. So I slightly kick his thigh forward. Then I make it very good like this. Then I fall in like this. If I want to make more momentum, I will step the floor to make more leverage. Because sometimes he may take a step back. So in this case, I cannot set a bend ball, but I should do the bend ball like this. Okay. This is much easier and simpler. Then I will show you another video. If you want to take a look, just check the link. Like one, and then, like this kind of shooting, I knock him down. Then, I don't like to swing my right leg, even though I can make the momentum, there's a risk. If I swing my leg, he can easily find a space between me and him. Then, he's gonna be counter -tacking. That's what I have to avoid. That's why when I time I spin, I want to make sure that I keep my shin in front of his belly. That's the shield between me and him. Look, as long as I keep it, he cannot control my hips. Like, he can really do the counter -tack. Okay? Then next, I want to make sure that I lift up his right leg like this. Like, using behind my knee joint. Like this, look. If I do it properly, I already raise his up like this. Then, it's like I'm making it two directions. Push his knee, and then I will use my knee against his belly. Look, this is how I lift up. Then from this position, I lift up the other side, grab his hips, okay? Then, as if I kick his leg forward. During the time I do, I have to keep my right leg in front of his belly. This is another axis in order for me to send it forward. Look, like this. Okay, then I make a twist of it. Yeah, if I just go to the hip, shoulder straight away like this, he's be able to jump to the other side, like this. Right, so that's why I push his hips, then 
I put my hand here. Okay? One, two. Like grabbing up. Then the next thing I'm going to drag the shoulder to the other side. To make some space on my shoulder. Good. Then I can make seat belt. Once I make the seat belt, I make the second hook. Then I take the back, it's four points. Sometimes I cannot make the perfect frame to control the legs in the brain bottle. So in this case, I want to do some kind of different variation. Okay, so I get upside down like this as like the last one here. So in order for me to do, I need to control the legs like this. But sometimes it may be a little shallow. The time I cannot control here so much. Like, it's getting shallow. In this case, I want to lock my legs. So figure four like this. Then I can lock his leg a little longer than the last one. Okay. Then I get upside down once, like this. Like his knees a little loose. And then I cannot send it forward. If I stay here, he's going to pull my hips. Then I will counter attack, like this. So that's why I want to switch my right hand from this position. So on this side, instead of grabbing the on this side, I'm going to look for the grip, like around here, like behind his right shoulder, or if I can reach, I want to grab the collar, like this. Once I make this grip, this is pretty strong. Then let's risk the counter attack. Look, as long as I grab a right shoulder on his right side, I'm connected with him. Even if he tries to pull my hips, it's pretty hard to do that. He can even make distance like this. Okay? Then I make stronger frame on my legs. Okay? As I avoid to get counter attack, right? I can even release a shield on his belly. Okay? Now I make figure four like this. And then from now, I next leverage to set him. So what I like to do is this. I'm going to step the floor with my soles like this. Look. Then also I pull his hips. I pull it up like this. Look how I keep on locking my legs like figure four. This is how I trap his leg. Just grab his hips like this. Then he can even slide out. As I grab the car here, can you slide out? Look. He stays connected with him like this. Then from this position, I'm going to send to the side. I do a back take. Okay, I use both of my legs to extend, to push him to the side, plus I push his hips, like making sideways, like this, okay? I still control the shoulder and the hips on the diagonal side. The other grip so he cannot move side to side, okay? It's the same as the last one, okay? Before I control his shoulder, I put my knee here, like pushing down the cup of shoulder, and then I make sit down to take it back. Sometimes he releases me like this, yeah, it's kind of shashing. It's getting harder for me to take the back. I don't even stay here for a long time, like raising my hips up. I may have a risk to get counter attack. So in this case, I get upside down once. Then, look how I switch my right hand. That comes around here, okay? The best case scenario, I want to grab his collar behind his neck. If that is hard to reach, you just want to grab right shoulder like this. This is pretty strong way to stay connected with him. Then he can even do the counter attack. Even he tries to pull my hips, look, he even gives me a leverage like this. Like, as long as I grab his shoulder, he cannot take distance. And then once I make, I lift up his hips, like this. I make figure four to stand, plus I push his hips like this. And sometimes I cannot adjust the angle to take the back. Like, we're still making it close, and then my chest is still away from his back. So in this case, what I want to do is push his hips. It's pretty simple. So here, I just push to catch him just sideways like this. Then okay? so I expose his shoulders, like behind his shoulders like this. Then after like this, I put my chest on the back, cup his shoulder, then okay? I take the back. 